the star this player can be. His whole story, his background, what he went through to get here, and where he's going, I think is inspiring. At the end of the season, I'll be headed to RB Leipzig, and I think that this is the, the best decision for me, and it's, it's definitely not been the easiest decision because, I mean, I put a New York Red Bull jersey on for eight years now. You know, you look at it from where I am right now in, in such a good situation, but I know that in the next part of my development, this is the best step that I could have possibly taken. I think what I'm most excited about is that I'll stay within the, the Red Bull family. There's been so many good moments. You know, goodbyes are never easy, but it will be a new opportunity, new doors for me, you know, to open and, and hopefully achieve some, some big goals. I grew up with my mom in Poughkeepsie, New York. You know, the relationship that I have with my mom is definitely very special. I guess you could say I'm kind of a mama's boy. You know, she did so much for me, and she kind of opened up the, the many opportunities that I had, whether it was to pursue, you know, soccer, um, a, a good education, um, and basically just pursue anything that I wanted to do. Tyler, from the day he was born, was just loving life. Wanted to be in the middle of all the action, highly competitive, highly energetic, would not take a backseat to anyone or anything. And that's how I had to live my life because he was not taking no for an answer. Being just me and him for quite a while, there were times where I was exhausted. I didn't know how things were gonna happen the next day. You kind of feel defeated at times, and he'd be the one. Um, he'd say to me, Mom, we've got this, and that just sums him up. <laughs> He's the one that's always got my back. No! Oh, you're so <laughs> For a long time, it was, you know, just me and my mom. But things sort of changed in seventh grade. Um, it was actually me and me and my now brother sitting in class together, and um, we were just just having a good laugh and introducing ourselves to each other. And um, we we came to find out that our parents were dating. Melissa and I were in high school together. She was two years younger, and it just so happened, you know, years down the road, uh, when Daryl and Tyler were in junior high together, playing on the junior high soccer team, we then had the connection there and we just started talking and then things where we are today. They've been together for six or seven years now and it's been such a positive change in my life to, to now have brothers, uh, a father figure who's been absolutely amazing to me. Gotcha. Yeah, we started off very close friends and then when our parents started dating we became even closer and not only did we gain Tyler out of this, we got his mother who's also been a huge part in our lives as well. I don't know what life would be like without them now. It's pretty cool. I asked him, I was like, dude, why did you start sprinting? He was like, I heard a noise, but I'm slower than you, so I gotta get a head start. <laughs> <laughs> the kids get along fantastic. Tyler and Daryl get along like father and son from day one, and just their talk of soccer is nonstop. It's an uh, unbelievable amount of pride seeing what he's turned into. For me, I have two families, you know, my home life and then uh, a family uh, away from home at the New York Red Bulls. And it's funny because, you know, you look at it and I've spent just as much time with them as, as I have at home. So, you know, the bonds that I've created with them are, are quite unique. Soccer for me kind of took a, a turn when I got invited to go to an RDS camp, which was one of those regional development schools. The first RDS camp that he did, he loved it. He came home saying, Mom, like, this is what I want to do. That was around the same time that Daryl and I were dating. I said to Daryl, I'm like, how do we do this? Like, how do I get him to and from Rutgers, Newark every night and still function and live a normal life? And he said, how do we not do it? It definitely worked as a family. I don't know that I could have done it by myself. I think it's an unbelievable sacrifice by Tyler and his family to partake and to be a part of Red Bull. To make that commute, it was a lot. I did well at the RDS camp, and, and they had actually invited me to try out for the academy team. So from that point on out, I just knew, like, 
I'm in a professional environment now. I'm in a professional club where the ultimate goal is to be a professional player. It just pushed me. I just was like, I want to play with Thierry Henry one day. I want to step on the same field as him. And this is kind of the path that you need to take to get there as a homegrown player. The base of our pyramid is called training programs. And that's all about providing kids with an opportunity to learn the game. You know, and that starts at four or five years old and goes all the way up to 13, 14. But kids that excel within the training programs will have the opportunity to go into our select programs. And then from there, the third stage of the pyramid is then the academy. And this is where the level starts to get really high and the kids are starting to work towards, uh, hopefully, a career with the first team. Tyler's rise through our programming was pretty meteoric because it's hard to stick out in front of 40,000 other players. It all happened very quickly for him. I mean, from joining our programs at 11 to graduate into the academy at 12 and a half, he really worked hard at every level. He dominated from day one. I felt he was certainly the most talented player that was came through Red Bull Academy. I felt he had the ability, the talent, and the mentality to be, to be the success that he is. He got invited to the U-17 national team, and that was my first time seeing him. And he was 15. He was the youngest player on the field. But, man, he felt like he belonged. And you could just see that, and I was like, wow. We had something special. The day we signed, it was just the, the most proud moment. He always said, if I have the ability to play professional, that's what I want. He never wavered on that from probably 13 years old. I didn't doubt his decision. I just doubted, should I listen to a 15-year-old make this decision? But it's the best decision we ever made, so we're OK. <laughs> from the day that I joined this place, they just made the whole vibe of, of the organization feel like one big family, you know? We've had a great experience with Red Bull. It's family, it's all we've known for now seven years. We were walking in for his signing and I was last to walk into the room and uh, I had to stop because the tears started coming down. You never think that someone who's not your blood can beat so much. Before Tyler, we'd never had a kid that had come in at the bottom level of our pyramid and worked his way up. The kids now have someone to look at and say, that was someone who was in the same shoes as me five or six years ago. If you dedicate yourself, if you apply yourself properly, it really is possible to achieve you know, all, of these, all of these dreams. I think that says a lot about Tyler, that not only did he embrace every level of that platform, but you know, really accelerated through all three levels as quickly as he did. And, you know, we're proud to see where he's gone. You know, the emotional roller coaster of going through, watching him play a game is unreal, because I know how much he takes pride in how he plays and the homework he does off the field to get himself to be better. And you want your kid to be successful. But he can come off the field, look himself in the mirror and say, you know what, I gave everything I had. And that's all we expect from that. The biggest thing I want to do as a player is show up in the big games, be the player that guys can count on and be a leader. But I've never looked at age as, as a defining factor of where you stand as a soccer player and a person. He's shown he can score goals at the national team highest level. He can make a tackle that helps you get a goal. He can recover. A lot of the things he brings is natural. His understanding of the game for his age is, is above his years. You just look at him run during the game, the way he closes gaps, the way he, he never stops and he doesn't give up. Tyler knows that he has not arrived yet. There are bigger goals ahead and bigger challenges. What I hope for Tyler is that he can be part of great teams, win championships, and then ultimately maximize what he has, maximize his talent. Anytime a guy leaves here and takes a next step, we're, we're behind him. There's a comforted feeling that every time I go out on the field, there's more than you know, just winning a game. There's people in the stands that are watching me now and, and supporting me, and um, I play for, for those people. Come on, T! My mom, you know, driving late hours and waking up early and getting out of work and trying to make ends meet helped me get there. That's what drives me. Seven years is coming down to this, which is what he wants and his next step and what he's worked so hard for. So you can't help but be happy. I just want to thank all my fans, family, friends, and teammates for 
you know, the opportunities that they've given me to, to grow as a, a player and a person. I've cherished each and every moment playing here and everybody has meant so much to me in this club and organization. I'm excited for my new challenges and I wish everyone the best. I'll be watching you guys succeed hopefully as a club and, and a family.